Welcome everyone, thank you so much for being here today. I've been wanting to practice oil painting for so long, however every time I try I find that my skin just gets really itchy and I can only presume that I'm a little sensitive to some of the ingredients in oil paints. So you can imagine how happy I was to discover water mixable oils which claim to be non-toxic. They can be washed and cleaned without using paint thinner or Gamsol, which is obviously very good for me and for my very mischievous cats that want to be involved in most things. I realised, however, that I just keep putting off painting and all my past artwork is just sitting in my cupboard. And I think I get so intimidated by a canvas and I know I'm not alone in the need to create a perfect painting um, that I just go back to watercolours and other crafts and things that feel uh, like there's less investment in them and for some reason I don't mind if I mess up a watercolour. So today what we're doing is putting up all of the artwork that I haven't thrown away or given away to inspire me and create the perfect environment to finally sit down and get those oil paints out. Whilst I was hunting through my cupboard of canvases, I actually found a copy of Starry Night by Van Gogh, which I painted probably about two years ago and thought it was probably time to measure this and get a frame for it. I, I painted this for my mother and I don't know why I've been putting off giving it to her there's, there's really no excuse um, it has been dry for a very long time so I decided to take some measurements and go online and purchase a, a floating frame so today I'm going to be painting in a sketchbook and I'm very excited because I would never have thought to use a sketchbook for oil painting but I've seen quite a few people use sketchbooks um, simply covering it in fluid acrylic um, creates the perfect um, background for the oils to adhere to and um, I, I ordered some of these sponges mine are obviously covered in cat hair like everything in my life um, and a clipboard and got everything ready for two days painting I've been loving this book by James Gurney regarding colour and light and he is so clever in terms of how he approaches his lighting and his colour schemes. So before we get into setting out our palette and creating some beautiful colour mixing with our palette knife, it's time to make a cup of tea and then we shall finally begin. I used to find colour mixing almost a labour of love in that I loved having, well, a labour of love. I loved having the colours, but I didn't really like wasting. And I did feel like it was wasting time. I just wanted to get straight into the painting. And it took me a while to realise that one of the biggest things when it comes to painting, and certainly all painting, is is patience because you can't rush it and when I mean rush it you can't you can still paint a painting quite quickly but you can't kind of go from the palette to the brush to the canvas without thinking ahead of what you're going to do because you don't get like other mediums the opportunity to mix it and blend it. I'm a watercolour person, I'm used to being able to kind of blend and manipulate and push the medium around and when it comes to oil painting I think confidence shows very much in your painting and like anything 
you you have to think about it in advance you need to be making sure you know which color you're going to lay and where you're going to lay it and where you're going to place it next to it now don't get me wrong it's it's a forgiving medium which is a misconception many people have it's probably one of the most forgiving mediums Um, but it's forgiving in a different way watercolor is beautiful because it does what it wants to do um I heard a quote once that said writing is very much about rewriting and in that respect oil painting is very much about repainting so whilst you can repaint certainly if you leave it to dry I mean you can put too much paint down on your uh, on your canvas and I've done that before um but going back to this concept of patience, the act of mixing the oil paints kind of brings you into that state. It brings you into a steady, methodical, thought through process. And I think it's almost like the warm up before the warm up, if, if that makes sense. So often people will do a study before they'll do a master painting. I think most of my paintings are just studies, but regardless, the the painting, the patience with the painting, because of the palette mixing, I find that I've slowed down and I've slowed my hands down and I've slowed my brain down so that I'm ready to now approach it and to not try to rush it. Hopefully in that very zen rumble, um, that has made sense. So... It's finally time to prep and start putting paint to paper. Around here is where I really started to feel like I was enjoying the process and I knew that nerves were going to be there whilst the canvas was white and I know for many people they do tone their canvas but I started to feel that as soon as I'd at least laid a layer of paint down that I could see where the painting was going and what always happens with me is I put quite a lot of paint down on the first pass that I probably only have a minute or two before I need to let it dry Um, and then I'll have to come back to it in two or three days to carry on and I know my own bad habits that if I don't paint in those two or three days in between what will happen is that I won't have the same excitement for the process that I had managed to capture there so it is true in that you do paint you do excel in painting and get better at painting by painting every day and I used to think that was simply about putting the hours in now yes it's obviously about putting the hours in and being a regular painter you know fail fast fail quick improve but it's also about keeping that momentum going and that muscle memory and that process so that in three days time when I return to this painting I've probably done two or three in between and actually it will have given me time to maybe work out my techniques of where this painting is going to go in the second layer so in doing these vlogs it's been um, very formula driven for me in that it's allowed me to analyze how I paint and 
hopefully to see if there's other people out there that face the same challenges that I do with painting or feel and think the same way certainly if you're into different mediums um, I'd love to hear if people have struggled to transition from one medium to another not because they don't understand how to use the medium but because there's such a different process I think to it in terms of that time between layers um, watercolour you know I could go make a cup of tea and come back and it would be dry in 10 minutes and, and I'm ready to go um, even at best maybe an hour or two and you can still use a hairdryer on it so I do look forward to returning to this but for now we're going to make some lunch and then actually I've got some uh, DIY trays that we're going to take a look at. I've recently fallen in love with making these beautiful trays which you can see my airpods are on and this is using a medium called jesmonite it's similar to a, a plaster of Paris or a cement and it only takes about 30 minutes to set which is fantastic and you get the most beautiful pigments mix the powder and the liquid together um, into the mold and you can make these amazing trays so i just decided to finish off the day with um, some waxing some of the trays i've made just to make them a little bit more waterproof i find this furniture wax provides a really smooth shiny finish um, i've tried it with um, a brush and an acrylic primer and i just never could get rid of the brush marks maybe i'll try it with those sponges although i'll have to uh, make sure there's no cat hairs flying around so Whilst I was um, doing this actually Mr Amazon arrived which was very exciting with some little sticky pads which I think just add that perfect touch onto the bottom of the tray. Um, if you'd like to see a, um, a tutorial um, of how I make these trays please do let me know. I'm certainly um, no expert. I've, I've only made around 10 and, and they are just for presents um, for friends and things. And I think with that, I'm going to call it a day and uh, probably go downstairs and feed my cats because no doubt they'll be getting very hungry by now. So thank you ever so much for joining me as I rediscover my love for oil painting and I shall speak to you really soon. Stay safe, take care and enjoy your creative journey. Hoping just to get by Without knowing it, I still play it by heart and sing.